Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Sands of Destruction walkthrough. Yeah, the the next primal lord is supposed to be in the Winter Isle. Yeah, in the Valley of Dragons. So I have to find the Tower of Wind. And Rhea says it's supposed to be at the end of the valley. Now I'm not gonna save game before pressing on. Okay, I I've attained an Elder Worm scale just from initiating uh, something uh, right near, near the bones of a dead dragon, or you could just call call it uh, Rhea's ancestor. So uh, right now I'm in a totally new area. From now on, the the battle theme for the game game has changed into what you are listening to now. Now Kyokuri has a new flow form and uses a sword instead of knives. He has all he has all these all new attacks. There are a lot more more useful as you go proceed through the game. But he's, real, but he's back to normal in the overhead gameplay. Well, I doubt you find any treasures here. It's just one enemy this time. Damn right. First well first white fog and now black fog. This is not the Tower of Wind. It's an another ma maze. Retrace your memories, let the darkness yeah. Yeah, it's a Beast Lord's trap. If you recall call heads uh, or earlier, let's see from before the three week me, you know, knows that there are like hmm, I think there are three or five, five more Beast Lord. Beast Lord, so hmm. so uh, Beast Rex uh, Rex is down. Look, at Caritas uh, Rex. Yeah, he's still around.
We also, there's also Noctuous Rex and Felix Rex. And here's a spoiler alert. Felix Rex is now not a boss in the gay game. So don't expect. So if you're expecting to uh, fight him, well, don't. Okay, there. I just uh, found this one area that's supposed to be like an inn. Yeah, you, if you need to recover your health or... Or your SP. Then uh, go to the end. Uh, the cost for, uh, for this day is... 60 gold. It's not too much. But right now you have so many to spare. You also encounter well, weapon shops that sell well powerful weapons but are ridiculously expensive. Okay, I'm gonna buy Gods and Demons for Topi. And Silver Moon for Nausea. Only in the in this part of the game, you could buy items that are very powerful. Yeah, I just sacrificed evasion for power. Clipping Silver Moon. Yeah, if I want to buy any more of those wet weapons, I'm going to have to save up on a lot of gold. When I first play, play this, I end up uh, getting lost at this uh, stage of the game. I keep fighting monsters and start earning a lot of uh, gold. And when I do buy, I like those very expensive, expensive well, weapons for my characters. I end up coming across stores that sell well, much better well, weapons later. But it's not really well, worth your time since the, the weapons that you buy in this maze are very strong. Oh yeah, if you could come across each and every one of the me memories in this maze, then... Well, there are no enemies to f fight in those areas. Okay, uh, now I re remember what you're supposed to do in this, me in this part of the game. You're suppo supposed to backtrack through the events from the pre present to to the past, like you had to start from the Tower of Light to Barney. You had to know know in advance where all these areas are. So there's the Tower of Light. I'm taking up too much time right here. Oh yeah, if you make a mistake, you have to start all over. Oh yeah, and, there, and there's no overhead map for this, so you're gonna have to uh, wing your way out. I gotta end this episode. See ya.